What were you thinking when that anthem played? And were you looking at your parents? Yeah, you know, I, I think I was just looking at the flag, but I could see obviously mum and dad right behind the flag. And, you know, I, I grew up watching, you know, the flag being risen um, at, you know, big competitions when, when someone wins a medal and, you know, you never really think it would, it would be you. And I always said that, you know, I'd sing the national anthem at the top of my lungs if I, if I ever got a gold medal. And, you know, I was pretty proud in that moment. And, you know, I don't usually shed a tear, but I think for it to all come together at once and, and to do a, put together a good time and, and to get that gold medal, it was pretty special. Your mum said to us before the race, we know he's going to do well if he comes out smiling. You came out beaming. Did it feel right tonight? Yeah, I think I was actually running a bit behind schedule. I think Cam... Cam's medal put me a bit off schedule and I was probably a bit excited um, but you know it just motivated me more and um, I think it yeah you know it all just came together at the right time right place I've been putting together like I said before some really good times in the, in the couple of months leading up I knew it was going to happen um, it just had to happen at the right moment. <laughs> Does this spark the fire for the rest of the games for you as well? Yeah absolutely you know it gets the ball rolling which I think Sophie and Jesse got the ball rolling yesterday for us and, and the rest of the team and it's pretty crazy seeing, you know, all the medals roll in. It feels like they're every five minutes for, for Team New Zealand. So it's pretty cool, you know, I, and I feel like, you know, I'm a part of that now. I saw the, the you know, the gold medal. Oh, I don't know what to say, you know, I'm shook. <laughs> Can you, um, talk to me about your relationship with Gary, um, how much he has helped you and, and what he kind of does for your swimming. Yeah, you know, he came to me in 2016. So this is our sixth year. Of, of I guess the the relationship and you know I've had our ups and downs and a lot of the time I don't want to listen to him and I don't want to hear his voice but um, he's always the last one to talk to me before I you know before I go into that marshalling room and, and race and um, he always knows what to say and he's always happy um, when he's here <laughs> he, he's not maybe always happy at home but um, he wasn't in, he wasn't in Gold Coast was he. No, he wasn't there at the Gold Coast, so I didn't get to see him. But um, I'm sure he was pretty happy after that. And, you know, he's, he's been happy all week. And he's, he's sort of a beaming smile, I think, in the village. And he's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a person to see. You know, everyone wants to say good day to Gary. <laughs> and so sometimes I don't get to see him as maybe much as I, I probably should. But, um, you know, he's, a, he's an awesome guy. And he said for him, you know, this is a home game. He started his coaching career here in Birmingham. Um, and he said, you know, this is a home game for you. This is probably the, the closest you're going to get. So, um, unless it's in New Zealand. So, um, yeah, look, it was, it was pretty cool to do it in front of his, all of his friends and family. And, and yeah.